How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo with Mike here. I'm still at the Hell Expo here and today I'm going to show you a helicopter designed and partnered with Aston Martin. Stay tuned. All the corporate birds out here. In front of me is an Airbus H130. And I'm just gonna shoot right into the interior space because that's what's making me salivating. This particular aircraft was done in partnership with Aston Martin and you can see all of the materials. This is really like a sports car, right? You can see the materials used here. Also the color of the exterior. I am very familiar with this color. If you remember, my airplane was painted in Aston Martin tungsten silver. So it's a very similar color here, but man, look at this cabin. Just lush. I, I don't know what the height is in here, but I imagine that you will have just enough room to be able to sit nice and comfortable. And you're not sharing your foot space with anyone, because guess what? There's no one in front of you. I probably get rid of this to allow for more leg room. And if we move forward to the cockpit here, you've got an extra two seats next to the pilot, which you look here, this is a single pilot aircraft. It is a turbine powered aircraft, but you only need one pilot to fly it. And avionics, your typical, you've got your Garmin, I believe that's the GTN, and your electronics down here. Because I've got five minutes, I'm gonna speed up this review. So let's just go around it for a minute. It's a three-bladed rotor, as you can see up top. And you've got a 950 shaft horsepower single engine in there. And that will power you to about 130 knots and cruise. Let's go around it here, moving and moving. I don't know what it is about helicopters and this tail rotor design. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it was done for aesthetic reason or if it's an actual practical reason for this, a performance reason. If you know more about helicopters, please let me know in the description below. But this thing looks gorgeous compared to something that just stands out. It just, that looks ugly. But this is beautiful in terms of design. But let's go to the other side here. That is a heavy outlet for that turbine engine. And so guys, you've got close to a thousand horsepower with this single engine. And what that means is that you can actually carry a lot of weight, all right? I'll go up front and share some of the numbers with you. So as I said, this helicopter has a good seven seats in there. And let's get back in that interior. But as you know, with a lot of aircraft, whether that be rotorcraft or fixed wing, Generally speaking, it means that just because you have this many seats doesn't mean that you can actually fill up those seats. But with this helicopter, you can because your useful load is about 2,300 pounds. And once you fuel up to your capacity, you still have a good 1,300 pounds to play with. So each person, let's assume that each passenger is about 200 pounds, which is realistic because I'm less than 200 pounds. It means you can fill up every single seat in this helicopter and go places. And again, at that, you're cruising at 130 knots. What I've always said is that helicopters are not bought for speed, but rather practicality. And the price tag on this baby, $4.5 million. <laughs> I don't know if I would buy this with that kind of money, but again, you're getting a jet-like aircraft because you have a turbine engine. But that, this is a beautifully designed aircraft. I hope you guys enjoy the short review here. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Man, this paint job looks clean. Anyway, I will catch you on the next video. Thanks.